If you're a history buff and want to know how the Phoenix-class cruisers did in World War II, don't bother. The real Phoenix was a Brooklyn-class cruiser. The Phoenix class of World of Warships is a drawing board prototype from whence the Omaha class was created. I guess it's possible that after the drawing of the Phoenix was trashed and burned, from the ashes arose the Omaha. Phoenix joke, get it? Anyhow, think of the Phoenix as the Omaha light. Don't let that deter you though. As a tier 4 cruiser, the Phoenix packs some very serious punch. Armed with 10 152mm guns, a modest AA system, and a triple torpedo launcher on each side, the Phoenix has a fairly high rate of fire. While the Mark 11 torpedoes only have a range of 5.5km, they come in handy for the point-blank brawling you'll sometimes find yourself in when participating in lower tier battles. One thing is for certain, and that is the Phoenix is a citadel hitting machine. Remember where to aim, right? The waterline and center of the ship. Do this with the Phoenix and you will find that those Chesters, St. Louis, Kumas, and other low-tier ships won't stand a chance against you. I even found myself landing Citadel hits from further out with plunging shots at the 13.5 kilometer max range of the Phoenix's guns. This can be attributed to the fact that the ships in the lower tiers have less armor, so you can easily deal more damage out. I found myself using AP more than HE. Using HE was highly effective as well. A steady stream of artillery can be damaging to lower tier battleships, keeping them lit on fire until they burn themselves into oblivion. Speed is an advantage as well. At 35.5 knots, you're destroyer fast. Against battleships in this tier range, you can easily maneuver yourself faster than their guns can turn, all the while firing away. Lastly, you have your torpedoes. If having a decent armament wasn't enough, you've got an ace in the hole that you can use to deal a devastating strike. That is, if you use them correctly. Remember, you have a short range on your torpedoes. You'll want to use them in one of two ways. The first is if you come into an extreme close contact with another cruiser or destroyer. The preferred method is a well-planned ambush as you see I used here against this battleship. Use the terrain to cover your movement and strike when the enemy gets in range. Remember to keep an eye out on your range indicator to know when to fire. Despite the ability to easily pick up multiple kills, the Phoenix is not perfect. You need to know when to pick your battles, and more importantly, when to tuck tail and run. For the most part, you'll find yourself in battles with lower tiered ships. However, sometimes you'll get in the mix with some higher tiered ships. You can hold your own against the Omahas, especially if you become adept at landing Citadel hits. If you come across a Cleveland though, my advice is to tactically retreat. Her guns can outshoot yours and from further away. A one-on-one -on -one battle with a Cleveland will end in heartache. All in all, I've enjoyed revisiting the Phoenix. It's been many months since I played it, and coming back to it has been a lot of fun. The Phoenix is a great ship to master Citadel hits with, using its high rate of fire and decent sized guns. You'll soon find yourself at the top of the leaderboard with it sinking multiple ships per round. It'll totally prepare you for the Omaha. Enjoy these low tiered rounds while you can. You're moving on up. Stay tuned for more ship reviews. Zoop out.